Have you ever been in the zone while working, completely absorbed in an activity, making real progress and getting things done, and then all of the sudden you get a notification and instantly you're pulled out of the zone and you find yourself scrolling on social media or involved in some other mindless distraction? Well, the device I'm about to show you is the antithesis of this. Terminal is an e-ink dashboard that helps you stay informed without being a distraction. It therefore allows you to remain in the zone for a longer period of time and thus maintaining optimal productivity. How does it do it? Well, being built from the ground up to be a passive consumption device that requires minimal engagement. This is in part made possible by two distinct design decisions. Number one, the hardware and the technology that drives it. And then number two, an opinionated device server relationship. And these two areas work together to provide a device that helps you to stay informed throughout the day without needlessly stealing your time. So let's start off with the hardware, shall we? Terminal is comprised of four main parts. Number one, the e-ink display. This is a 7.5 inch one bit display with a resolution of 800 by 480. And I know you're probably thinking to yourself, those specs, don't sound bleeding edge at all, but that's kind of the point because this display gives you super low power consumption. And because it's an e-ink display, it gives you amazing viewing angles. You get 170 degree wide viewing angles. You can basically see this thing directly from the side and it has minimal glare and it's super easy to read. But the beauty of an e-ink display is that it's almost always off in the sense that it's not drawing power from the battery. In fact, power is only required for refreshing the display. And that only happens at preset intervals that can be defined by the user. In other words, this display technology is basically a battery's best friend. Now, like I mentioned, this is a one bit display, which means it can show one color, black or white. And that may seem on the surface to be extremely limiting, but Terminal developed their own design system to create screens that look way more than just one color. It's actually really cool. So this allows a one bit display to create the illusion of different intensities, different shades of gray, and more. For instance, by using dither patterns, sort of like the original Macintosh did, it gives the illusion of having a much more diverse grayscale color palette. And Terminal has created an entire design system around getting the most out of this one bit display from various utilities for size and spacing, views, layout, title bars, to text stroke and image stroke. Both first party plugins and user created plugins can take advantage of the design system. The next big piece of the hardware is the PCB, of course, and it features an Expressive Systems ESP32 C3 Mini. Now, this chip provides 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi, Bluetooth 5. It features an onboard PCB antenna. It has a single core processor up to 160 megahertz and four megabytes of flash and chip package. There's also 15 GPIOs. And you'll notice this PCB features display output via ribbon connector, USB C port, power port, power button and a skip button. And as you can imagine, the microprocessor uses barely any battery at all. And that's not just because of its efficiency, but also because of the device server relationship where nothing's actually processed on the device. We'll talk about that in a bit. Now, speaking of battery, that's the third main component that makes up the terminal. And the default battery configuration is an 1800 milliamp hour rechargeable lithium battery that lasts anywhere between one to three months, depending on your usage and the way you refresh your plugins, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But you can upgrade for $10 to a 2,500 milliamp hour battery, and that's gonna give you roughly four to six months per charge. That is amazing. And then finally, the enclosure itself. It comes in six different color options, three main options, black, white, and clear for $139 all in. And there's also a limited edition sage, gray, and faux wood for $154 all in. Now the enclosure also includes a steel kickstand, which is super handy for just sitting the, the terminal on your desk or wherever you wanna sit it. Or it also has a picture frame mount as well, and you can hang it on the wall or attach it to your refrigerator, whatever the case may be. It's designed to be displayed in a place of your choice. Now the software. 
Terminal is powered by plugins, and there are over 78 first party plugins available and hundreds more private plugins. And everything from calendar to weather, YouTube analytics, dashboards, F1 leaderboards, reminders, subreddit headlines, etc., whatever you can imagine, basically. You can even create your own plugins with a little bit of know how. And each plugin produces a screen that is displayed on the terminal. You can have a screen dedicated to a single plugin, or you can have a mashup of multiple plugins and display up to four of them at the same time. Now, each plugin can be added to a playlist and arranged to display in whatever order you wish. And each plugin also features its own individual refresh rate that users can configure. You can even create multiple playlists and choose to display specific plugins during certain times of the day. For example, during working hours, I keep my F1 leaderboards and my up next MLB games muted in its own little dedicated playlist until after 5 p.m. Now the software side is where battery savings are really compounded because none of the screens that are displayed are rendered on device. Every minute, Terminal loops through every plugin that is due to be refreshed and attempts to create new screens. All images are pre-rendered on Terminal servers or if you host your own on your server and then sync to the Terminal hardware at predefined intervals. And as you might imagine, this saves loads of compute power without negatively affecting your device experience. Devices ping the server, not the other way around. So when Terminal syncs content, but it matches the previously synced content, say from 15 minutes ago or even an hour ago, the system stops and does not re-render or regenerate a screen. That saves compute power without changing your device experience. You're still gonna see the latest and greatest information, but it's not gonna have to re-download if nothing changed. So in my time with Terminal, I have to say I really like it. It's unlike any other tech that I use on a daily basis, and I like the fact that it requires no management or maintenance. Once you have it set up, it just works, and it doesn't vie for your attention like other tech tends to do. And I was frankly kind of shocked at how good the display looked, and I had forgotten how awesome dithered images looked. It definitely has that nostalgia vibe going for it. And if you're a developer, you're going to love it because Terminal is open source friendly. It allows developers to create their own plugins, bring their own devices, or even create their own backends. Oh, and there's no monthly subscription fees. Terminal proves that you can stay informed while remaining in the zone and look good doing so. Check the link in the description to order your Terminal today. Special thanks to Terminal for sponsoring 9to5Mac.